Cryptocurrently. ClearCoin is a decentralized technology company that powers the real-time buying and selling of media using blockchain technology for decentralized applications and the broader digital environment. Media is constantly being bought, sold, distributed, and consumed at an unreal rate. ClearCoin is taking the $563 billion a year industry to the blockchain with a decentralized approach to the way the media you consume gets bought and sold. We are lucky enough to have Jay Singh of ClearCoin with us today. Jay, thanks for being here. We're sure you're busy. Tell me how you got started and how ClearCoin got started. It's good to be here with you. And it's been uh, about 10 years since I've been in, in advertising and media. And uh, I started when I was about 19. And I was really fortunate. I landed a small, very small social media ad deal with a large company, uh, Sears, which is a big department store. And then after that, I landed Coca-Cola. These are very small social media ad deals. And this is at the genesis of uh, social media uh, kind of taking off and booming. And we got these really small contracts to help them grow their social traffic. And we were just kind of in the right place at the right time. And, and since then, we kind of were able to work with big enterprise customers, like Fortune 500 customers, uh, because we kind of learned how they work and, you know, they learned how we work and we were just kind of in the right place at the right time. So as the next 10 years went on, we continued to, uh, you know, grow our offering. And then I had a company called Viral Gains and Viral Gains worked with about 25 of the Fortune 500 when I left that company. It was a video ad platform. So I've always been in media and advertising. And one of the ongoing problems in media advertising is there's a, a supply chain issue with uh, inaccuracies, there's fraud, there's bots, there's a lot of things that are uh, causing problems. And the problem's actually grown in the last five years. It hasn't gotten smaller. It's about a $16 billion issue now in media and advertising. And blockchain provides supply chain efficiency options. So a lot of the blockchain projects that we see out in the world today are for the supply chain. Uh, how do we make a better supply chain that is a tamper-proof supply chain, it's distributed on ledgers, we can track a supply chain, we get better transparency into that supply chain. So, we're, so ClearCoin is working on a uh, media and advertising supply chain uh, that helps make it more efficient, more transparent, less fraud, less bots, and uh, we have a lot of those enterprise level customers really interested in this type of thing. One of the more interesting aspects of ClearCoin is your proof of history. You're using the decentralized blockchain technology to identify better what is and is not fraudulent use by the way of consumers or users in the media and advertising world. That's very interesting. It's very revolutionary. Can you please give us a little bit of information on exactly what that is, what the problem is, and how you aim to fix it? The, the history part of the ledger is really, where was the ad served? What publishers was the ad served on? What was the quality of those ads, the quality of those publishers? Was anything non-human detected? Those are some of the factors that we're looking at. So in any ad campaign, there can be a lot of partners involved. You know, you could have one company that gets the deal and then they, they have uh, some middleman, they have the contractor, they have the other contractor, the subcontractor, the other middleman. And then it gets very messy very quick. And sometimes you don't even know where all the inventory came from. And I know this firsthand because I was in the industry for uh, 10 years and I was sometimes I was that subcontractor where, you know, I described to you those very early days where we were getting small, small deals. It was like there was the media agency, then there was like the sub agency, the subcontractor, the other subcontractor, and then we were the last subcontractor. Um, and, you know, we did our best to provide as much high quality work as we could, but we quickly realized that these companies sometimes don't even know 
how far this chain is going and they might even lose track where did the inventory come from how good was the inventory and all of that type of stuff so uh, right now there's there's a couple of uh, large companies doing some uh, media and advertising blockchain pilots so there's definitely some validation out there in the market and and we're getting phone calls from some of those big agencies saying uh, or big advertisers and they're saying you know we want to get involved with this like we know that blockchain is going to positively affect our supply chain so uh yeah that that's that's what we're doing right now with that ledger system uh it's going to be a distributed ledger system it's going to be run uh it's going to have multiple nodes uh the first nodes will probably likely be agencies and advertisers and some nodes that we have um and, and that's really going to help us track the quality of the inventory and create some transparency as well the namesake of your company, ClearCoin, is bringing up a lot of business interest and media attention. Can you give us some information on ClearCoin itself, what it aims to do, and how it will help service your goals? The whole platform is token powered. So, you know, let's say uh, one of those large enterprise type of advertisers come in and, you know, they want to spend $200,000 to run an ad campaign. The whole platform and the distributed ledgers that we were just talking about are all token powered, meaning uh, it only runs on the token. So we are taking that ad buy and you know, our team has been involved with you know several, you know, over $10 million of ad buys a year. So we're actually gonna be you know taking, they, they still pay in fiat currency, right? So they pay in US dollars. Uh, so we're gonna take those dollars and we're gonna convert them for them uh, uh, and we're going to give them exactly what they want. It's just we're doing it in a different denomination. Um, and then with on the supply side of that, there are the uh, you know the publishers, the supply side. They may still take their payments in dollars. So in those cases, we pay them in dollars. But first, it, it goes from the token and it transfers back into dollars. But we see in the long view as crypto currency and crypto tokens get mainstream acceptance which is sort of an inevitability if not already happening right now as they get more mainstream acceptance and you have you know your your advertising token your file storage token your travel token well we've seen tokens for a lot of things now but th that's going to create a system of of liquidity where uh, you know, one type of token can get traded for the other type of token and it'll, the price will be uh, at an equilibrium, uh, we would hope. So in the beginning, we could imagine that we might be doing some of the conversions for the, the demand and the supply side partners. But ultimately, the, the whole platform is meant to be a token powered platform. Uh, in addition to the, those ledgers we were talking about, that that's also powered by... Uh, the token, and as you know, when you when you deal with Ethereum, you pay a gas price, or you deal with Bitcoin, you have a transaction fee. So small fees to power the ledgers. Jay, thanks again for being on with us here at Crypto Currently. Again, this is Jay Singh of ClearCoin. I urge everybody to check out their website and their social media to see what they're doing to change the advertising world around you. I'm Eric with Crypto Currently. Hit the subscribe button on YouTube if you haven't. Follow us on Steemit. Hit that follow button on Twitter. Thanks everybody for listening. Have an awesome day.